YouTubers, welcome back to another ESGN pay-per-view prediction video for the WWE Elimination Chamber happening this Sunday, live on pay-per-view. And as you see here, we're getting to the match between the Wyatt family, uh, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and uh, Eric Rowan versus the Shield of uh, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns. Uh, and these are two of the hottest factions right now in pro wrestling and uh, also within the WWE. Talk about just talk about two teams that are fan favorites, but also two teams that do not, I repeat, do not care for each other at all. Um, as you see what happened on Raw uh, this past Monday. Uh, just talk about hell on earth. Uh, these two teams are going to put it uh, everything on the line um, on, at Elimination Chamber. And quite honestly, I don't know how the referee is going to be able to keep up in this match um, because it's there's going to be there, there's going to be bodies everywhere. Uh, there's going to be destruction everywhere, and I, I think the referee's going to have to throw this match out. Um, it's going to have to take control of this match very, 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 very early. Um, and just, you know, tell, tell the both teams this, you know, things, this is how the match is going to be. And, uh, you know, no chaos and no excitement. But, of course, that you know, that's not going to happen. Um, there's going to be a lot of, as you see there already, uh, the team's just getting, um, just manhandling one another. Um, like no, like no other. Um, uh, but I was gonna say, yeah, uh, leave a like for the video if you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely check out other videos here in the series, uh, our pay per view prediction series. Um, also check us out on uh, follow us on uh, Facebook or uh, Twitter. Uh, check like us on Facebook and also check us out on Tumblr. Uh, the links are down below in the description. Uh, they're also uh, in the just in the uh, comments area. Leave a uh, leave your comments, questions, uh, or your thoughts about this match or about the pay-per-view itself. Would you guys would like to see what you guys would, uh, would what you're hoping that will, will come out of this match? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be uh, it's uh, this match. This is as, as uh, old good Jr. would say. This is going to be a slobber knock. This is going to be uh, a fight that both uh, both teams are going to. Somebody's gonna have to go home with it, with a tail, with uh, tucked between their legs, and uh, you know they're gonna have to figure out how to, uh, uh, you know, uh, deal with the loss, this this big loss, because um, these two three-man teams, uh, like I said, are the most popular teams in the WWE, pop, most popular factions within the last, uh, I would say, the last ten, almost twenty years. Um, they put a lot of excitement. Uh, in the matches and, and the fans love them. Um, of course, there's all there's been rumors for I don't know. I think since uh, late last year that Roman Reigns could possibly um, leave the Shield. Um, and, and of course, there's been there's been rumors saying that if that does happen, then there might be a possibility that it'll, they'll still the Shield will still be the Shield, but it'll be either just a two-man group or uh, a third a new third person will come in and that third person would be um, a former um, well he's uh, I believe he's in yeah he's in NXT right now uh, a former WWE superstar uh, who was part of the new Nexus uh, he's the big man for them and that person is um, Mason Ryan uh, he could possibly make a return uh, and to onto the uh, main event on the uh, main roster here uh, on uh, SmackDown on Raw and SmackDown uh, as the uh, newest member of the Shield, um, and I think I, I mean there's a lot of mixed uh, reactions to that, but I'm personally I'm excited about uh, Mason Ryan. Uh, to me, he is the he's the new um, new improved 2.0. Batista, and I, I like that he has that look. He has that aggression, um, and I, I think this would be perfect for him. I, I would, I would love to see him been used more, uh, more frequently when he was part of the new Nexus. Uh, but of course, that was kind of going downhill. 
um, not as, uh, as exciting and, and, and uh, didn't breathe too much new life uh, with that because I, I, I still to this day I feel like that Wade Barrett and the whole group right there should have been there. Uh, CM Punk, not really a good fit. CM Punk's kind of a guy that has a needs to stick out on his own. He doesn't need he, to me. He doesn't his character doesn't need anybody to support him or to, to help him out with anything. And I think that's why the, the which don't get me wrong, Straight Edge Straight Edge Society was great, um, but yeah, Punk just. Just every I for years I've always said that he's he's always been a great standalone character and and just can do things on his own. Um, didn't really need too much. I mean, maybe in manipulating people to get him stuff, but not necessarily as a group like a a tight knit group like the Shield or the Wyatt family and stuff like that, groups like that. Um, but anyway, uh, the, there's rumors saying that Shield. Um, could possibly um, it could be this could be the this could be the final straw um, on Sunday uh, if they do lose um, and then of course the Wyatt family a very odd group uh, very strange individuals Luke Harper um, Eric Rowan don't really say too much um, but when they do um, it is creepy as hell <laughs> um, and especially uh, with uh, Eric Rowan I mean that red beard and that that mask that he wears of the, of the um, sheep uh, or lamb or whatever the hell it is, he when he just looks at you, he just kind of turns his head and just kind of like goes right into the camera. It's just like you know, eek eek eek, <laughs> kind of like Michael Myers type stuff. It's kind of like oh dude, that, and he's they're both of them are freaking huge guys. It's like damn. <laughs> Um, damn, like, what the hell are they, like, feeding you? Like, shit, that's a huge dude. Um, which really brings even more creepiness to it, uh, and whatnot. Uh, but of course, you know, there's been rumors saying that uh, there, there's a possibility of John Cena. Uh, of course, he's had a little bit of a run in with the Wyatt family, uh, but there could be, a, you know, a possible storyline leading up to WrestleMania against him. Like I said, there's always rumors all the time at this time of the year, um, because you know WrestleMania is kind of this, this you know the, uh, the immortal showcase as they call it. Um, you know the, the biggest stage that there is in pro wrestling, and um, you know they want to put on a really good show. And I think um, it's going to be really exciting seeing these dream matches that everybody's been wanting to see finally come come to life, and uh, you'd be able to sit down and enjoy them. So it's going to be really interesting. Like I said. Um, this Sunday between these two teams uh, because both teams do not like each other. Both teams have the same um, what do you call it um, you know uh, common uh, threat you know Daniel Bryan, John Cena uh, and CM Punk of course we already know about CM Punk there's still rumors about that, about him uh, possibly coming, coming back uh, at uh, elimination Chamber or sometime after Elimination Chamber. I know if you guys um, I, I'm going to try to see if I can put a link in here. I'll I'll, uh, and I'll try to add a link to it. But there was a uh, podcast show. There's some close to Boston podcast show. And he, he I believe had just interviewed uh, JR. Um, of course they're long time friends and whatnot. And they were talking about things that were going on pro wrestling. And one of them was CM Punk. And him possibly making a return. I'm going to see if I can find a link to that uh, to that podcast or that story. About, it's a really interesting story of what, what Stone Cold's uh, perception is about that uh, the situation between him, between CM Punk and WWE. I'd uh, still to check that out. But there you see the winner of the match, uh, the six uh, the, the six man tag team match. It's no other than The Shield. So could this happen this Sunday live on Pick of View? Well, I don't know. You definitely, have to, definitely have to order a pay per view, uh, go away on through uh, your TV or order it through uh, WWE Network. Uh, that it's going to be launching that night, so uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how that all plays out. So, uh, but as always, guys, like I said, down in the description below, 
like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and definitely check out our Tumblr page. And uh, as always, you guys, keep social healthy. And I'll see you guys next time.